Hey, what's up guys? It's Jayco, and today we're gonna be going over some gameplay I got earlier of me pissing off some people in GTA Online. Now, in most cases, I was just being a dick. I was just killing for no reason, trolling people with my RC car. And one guy actually felt the need to send me an explicit picture of his weenie, Bruh. his actual weenie. So, obviously I won't be showing it, but I'll show you the, the, the parts leading up to it. So our first victim is Spoonerman, which he is in the yellow gang. I pull up on him getting into his tank because I did see him bullying one of his friends or some lower level player. He was just trying to massacre people with his little rhino tank here. Maybe he's still stuck in 2013, I'm not sure, but it doesn't end well and he absolutely pulverizes me. But that's when I pull out my Akula. I even hit my little dancey dance there. I knew it was time to end his little killing spree here and now, so I pull up on him with his buddy in his tank. So he hopped out of his tank, and then his buddy hopped in. I try to kill him cruising down the square here in his motorcycle, but I was unable to. So that's when I hopped over here on this roof and proceeded to blow his head off. Now here's where the subject of the video comes into play. My RC personal vehicle came back, or came out, sorry, back in the contract DLC for the agency, Amani Tech. You probably know it at this point. And I think it's absolutely hilarious using this thing to kill people because you're always off radar uh, and you have no risk of dying. This guy doesn't see me coming, so I proceed to run him over. Doesn't finish him off, so I decide to gun him down in the middle of the streets because he's still proceeding to kill his buddy. I don't know why. I uh, also killed his buddy, the level 12 he is, just to show him that uh, <laughs> I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I just was just killing a kill at this point. Some of the reactions I get from using this thing to kill people is also just absolutely hilarious. He's starting to use his grenade launcher, so I decide to take a little flank route to go ahead and get him. So I circle back around and here he is in cover and I just barely somehow bounce off the stairs and just absolutely nail him. After nailing him though, I got stuck in this little yard here, stuck in this bush and there was absolutely no way for me to get out. So I had to wait for him to get just barely close enough and with this thing, you have a car bomb. I was able to blow up near him, but I wasn't able to get the kill. I was close though. You may have also seen on the channel that I have been doing these sorts of things in live streams too on PlayStation public sessions, and it has been a lot of fun. So I decided that's kind of why I wanted to make today's video is because it's been a lot of fun and you get some funny, funny reactions when you piss some of these people off. And like I showed before, this guy sent mercenaries after me, so I decided to maybe get him going, stir the pot a little bit, and I messaged him Merc's question mark, which then he proceeds to send me this questionably racially stereotypical depiction of SpongeBob for some reason. I don't know why. I'm not gonna get too into that, but the next image is when he sends some private parts that he maybe should have not shown me at all. So as I was in the process of going after him again with my Akula, he sends me another image, and obviously I'm not able to show it, but he, he, he showed it. Maybe it wasn't his. If I were to take a guess, I would probably assume it wasn't his, but it was still just really, really weird. For just, that's, that's how you respond to someone killing you in GTA. Whatever, it's his body, his choice, I guess you could say. I did shortly after report that because I didn't maybe want him sending that to children or just other people over the internet because that's just really weird and I felt the need to report him and as of right now as I'm editing this video PlayStation is still evaluating the PP pick so I'll keep you guys updated on that and let you guys know when or what happens to this weirdo. Now for the rest of the video is mostly me just going after people for no apparent reason, no no motive or anything behind it. It's just me just being an absolute menace to this GTA Online lobby. Saw this guy with an export vehicle, one of the Simeon ones. Not, I don't believe an auto shop one, but I, maybe it was. I think it was an auto shop one, but I'm not sure because it was the OG Lamborghini. And as he was coming out, he changed the paint job on it, of course. I know you don't have to do that for the auto shop ones, but maybe he just did that to lose the cops. And I proceeded to uh, get him with my RC personal vehicle here. I did enough damage with my guns to light the car on fire, so it was able to explode. And then he jumped out, in which he then proceeded to blow himself up. 
But that's not the last we're going to see of our boy V-Lone here. And then decided to go after this other random guy just driving through the docks. I don't know if he was doing a supply mission or crates or anything. I don't think he was. He was able to slip by me here, but I was able to get him in the end. And as I said before, V-Lone was not ha very happy with me after I killed him and destroyed his export vehicle. So he starts hightailing it after me with an oppressor. He can see me on the map. I assume he just called Lester and showed me on radar. So that's why he's able to actually track me down here. I knew it was a fight I obviously wasn't going to win. So I left my remote control car and I was able to make an escape and a play for my oppressor in which I was then going to try to get my Akula. On my way to get my Akula, I spotted this guy just kind of moseying around, so I just shot a rocket, and I blew him up, but we end up seeing him quite a lot later here in the video, and he gets really, really upset as well. Like I said in these trolling videos, I'm, I'm just trying to be an asshole. I know I'm doing wrong in GTA Online, but at the end of the day, it's a game about killing. You can always leave the lobby or join a new lobby or go to a friends only lobby. I hate that that's one of the fixes to deal with people like me, especially when I'm doing trolling videos like this, but that's unfortunately the way it is. That's also me not trying to justify myself. I, I know I'm being an asshole, but I mean, if you, if you think the same way I'm an asshole and I'm doing wrong, let me know in the comments. I don't really care, honestly. <laughs> So he's hiding up on May's bank. I try to sneak up on him with my Akula. He's able to flare out of the way. I completely whiff, though it was going to be really tough because he definitely knew I was there considering he was already ready with the flare. So shooting me down with explosive bullets and I just joined my Bogdan problem job and teleported to my facility. He sends me this message. I then proceed to play stupid with him and ask him. Who? After that though, he just went AFK and hid in his agency, also in passive, and then he just kind of never showed up again, never left the agency, might've gone AFK, eat dinner, I don't know. So I then start chasing down this guy through the beach in his Corvette here, and he was unable to get away from me. I then proceeded to kill him again, and one more time. I thought I would go visit my friend that I killed earlier while I was flying around on my oppressor, Moose Knuckle. He was on his oppressor, he just hopped on, I was able to knock him off of it, and then kill him, and he did not like that whatsoever. This is probably the best reaction I got all day. Before we get to the messages though, I'll show those at the very end. This one guy I noticed killed a lower level, I believe he was like a level 12 or 14, 16 or something around there. This first time I get this guy to avenge the low level is probably the most satisfying kill I got all day. And he's in his how, special how Camaro, the brand new one, so he was able to absolute dust me. I was thinking to myself, there's no way I catch up to him, right? And then he proceeds to do this. And as you guys can see, I am also getting vote to kicked from Moose Knuckle. Uh, to get kicked out of the lobby, a couple people decided to vote to kick me. I wasn't completely voted out of the lobby before I ended the recording and left, though. And uh, this is where I get a message from Moose Knuckle. <laughs> he was not very happy at all. Some of the reactions you will get from getting kills with this RC car are absolutely priceless. They're so funny. You're just completely off radar and before you know it, you just get ran over by a two ton SUV flying at 60, 70, 80 miles an hour and boom, you're dead. And <laughs> you don't know where the hell they are. You don't know how to get after them. It is, it's just dead in the water from there. Some people will immediately, instinctually, and like, you know, smartly, will start shooting at me, you know, shoot at the driver, and then get the easy kill with the auto aim in, on PlayStation, but they're unable to do that because there's no one driving the car. I have had people message me telling me I'm a hacker, I'm a glitcher, that they're reporting me, they're gonna get me banned, and this is off recording, off live streaming. I've played around with this thing quite a bit since it's come out, and as you guys can see, he EMP bombs me, but I was able to still use my car bomb to blow him up and kill them for the third time. After he sent me the last message, I messaged him back, plain stupid, asking when, and then he says, I mean, whenever your parents are ready to get you out of their basement or whatever. It was, it was pretty funny. He's absolutely true, though. I am in the basement right now. <laughs> He's not wrong. 
I'd be totally down to do some more funny trolling videos, especially with people's reactions. It is a lot of fun over here on PS5 in these public sessions. It's great. There's some other ideas I would love to try out, so let me know some other ideas you guys have as well. Leaving a like and a comment down below is much appreciated and shows what you guys want to see. As well as if you are new, consider subscribing. And in the meantime, check out some more of my videos here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.